My name is Nick, and I read poems. Um, yes. Um. <laughs> I'm Kevin. Uh, uh, I write poems. Uh, Do we say our last name? What up, motherfuckers? I'm Nate. <laughs> Nate to the OG. Poetry is sexy. I think we've all been here uh, once before. We are seasoned vets. This is the, yeah, the triumphant return. I started getting into uh, performance poetry because, I don't know, I liked, reading, I, I liked having the chance to read my poems out loud and it was fun to actually, it, it was something to actually do with my poems after I'd finished writing them. She leaves a faint signature traced across my collarbone with a hungry fingernail. The bed, cradled between an open window and a green wall, creaks its hasty approval as we stir questions of privacy around each other's wagging tongues. We get each other's shirts off and onto the floor and capture quick glances of pale chests and stomachs. Mine is the bare negative space of a farmer's tan. Hers, toned uniformly with her limbs, dressed in a roadmap veil of tattoos, she is canvas stretched across fractured scaffolding. And we are two different sorts of skin. I think I did pretty well. It was a lot of fun. I sort of kind of rush off the stage a lot, so I, I think I did well. We breathe marshland across each other's necks, and she whispers a warning into my collarbone. She says, you are too malleable. I'm afraid of molding you into a crossbow and using you to shoot the flags off mailboxes. I tell her, I already am a crossbow. I'm tired of aiming at bullseyes. And those mailboxes, fuck them. Nothing good ever comes by mail anyway. I got into poetry um, about like three, three years ago. Um, I do per performance poetry, I guess, um, because I like the immediacy, kind of like what my buddy Nick was saying of, um, <clears throat> you know, getting up on stage and connecting with someone on a deeper level than fucking small talk. I can see the apocalypse in the white parts of your eyes. You carry the four horsemen in your mouth, mixed in with the plaque and buried deep inside the cavities, and I carry the sins of man between the knots of spine and my back. And I never understood the resolution of notes not played in soundproofed piano rooms or how frozen pizzas and mucho mango iced teas could open me up like a buck knife. Blood spilling secret identities on the tight animal hides of your eardrums. I remember when the money ran out and the long arm of the authority tree came and took you away because I was too stupid to try and hide the only good in this foxhole full of costumes I tailored for catching the best of damaged goods. And now that the season's over, I find myself back on the 50-yard line, alone, trying to rebuild a fort. I, I, I think I did pretty well. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the show went great. Yeah, no, like the show went really good. Um, I think I did pretty good. I really, really enjoyed Candace's poem. Uh, she's like a new one for me. She forgot you had a tattoo of a bird on your arm. Um, Candace's act, like she had the red dress on, like she, oh, uh, that was really raw. And I didn't see her, for, like, at the rehearsals and stuff, so I was completely blindsided by it. She has a real good cadence, kind of like Andrea Gibson a little bit. I was watching her with uneasy eyes gently as she remembered the all of a sudden forgotten guilt of memory. She's a fucking beast. She's baller boss. 
struggle to catch every ribbon of detail floating through her mind, but so many will slip through the fingers of her thoughts. She knows that instantly it was heartbreaking for me to see something like that, that side of things. I like these cats. I write poetry as well. I've been writing poetry for about four years or so, like maybe five now, maybe six. I started when I was in my late teens, basically. I used to be a jock, and then I saw Death Poetry Jam, and I was like, oh, sweet, that's like kind of like what Kanye does. That was really lame. And then I got smart, and I started liking uh, uh, good poetry. And um, so I came out to Chicago to write, to, to, to be a poetry major. And um, yeah, it's, it's really all about uh, I don't know, there's just some, there, there's a really deep connection that you can get from an intimate show. I like poetry a lot better than music in that regard because I always feel connected to the artist as opposed to just um, connected to the people next to me. It's a, it's a good time, that's, I guess that's why I do it. In that first moment, the most uncomfortable thing about being naked is the lack of pockets. I never really mind the exposed feeling, or, or even the way my dick overreacts to menial things like air conditioning, but at a time like this, darling, when you slip to skin only with your heart beating visibly through your chest, when all that is left of us is the brazen kinetic truth of our bare bodies, where am I supposed to put my hands? We crossed minefields of ulterior motives and red flags promising a sting just as bad as the last time. They say love is a dance. This. This is no dance. Not unless you consider rubbing up and down on each other, praying for sparks like sticks in the hands of a giant boy scout, a dance. The electric slide, now oh, that's a dance. <laughs> this is a chess match and with both players fuck up so often that nobody ever wins. Everybody's searching for that last stroke of genius to put the opposition in checkmate because checkmate always comes with the promise of surrender and I can't wait to stop fighting. So, all right, the, the best way to get in, involved in the spoken word scene, there's open mics everywhere. Uh, there's actually a website called chicagopoetry.com, unless they changed it. And that when I first got here, I used to check that out to find out uh, where, you know, on what nights we're having what readings. Basically, there's, a, there's like, you know, three readings a night in Chicago. So you, you just gotta really keep your eyes open, check it out. And then it's a matter of just finding where you fit in. There's definitely different aesthetics, like, um, if you are a big fan of the fuck the white man because you know they, they keep me down poetry there's like places where you can go specifically where people do that poetry and you know like that you'll be very much at home and very welcome in those places so you really got to keep your eyes open and um ask around YCA is great especially if you're like below 21 years old and you can't get into the green mill yeah I would, I would say again as Nate said start at open mics because at an open mic, it's really low pressure. Like, if you go to an open mic, there's like a 95% chance that someone there will be worse than you. Whoa, mister, you better let